sea otters are the delightful and charming superstars of Monterey Bay. They're also a threatened species with an uncertain future. Today, there are only 3,000 sea otters left in California. Our researchers at the Monterey Bay Aquarium monitor this fragile population closely. We are working to understand how we can help the population recover. Life is tough for a sea otter, and especially for sea otter pups. They are completely dependent on their mothers. And when a big storm rolls in, crashing waves and strong currents can separate a sea otter mom from her pup. This stranded pup is just a few days old. Without her mom, she will not be able to survive on her own. That's where the Monterey Bay Aquarium Sea Otter Program steps in. You got it? Our team of staff and volunteers respond to calls of stranded sea otters that come ashore along the California coast. When we find a stranded sea otter pup, the first thing we do is try to reunite it with its mother. If we can't find her, we take the pup back to the aquarium for further care. The first stop on our pup's journey is to Dr. Mike for a checkup. How are you doing, huh? Don't bite the nice doctor. Once he gives her the all clear, the rescued pup heads behind the scenes for rehabilitation. <coughs> Raising a sea otter pup is a round the clock job. Every few hours, we give the pup a special formula that mimics mother's milk. And when we're not giving her milk, we're grooming and grooming and grooming. A sea otter mom will spend hours every day grooming her pup. So we do the same. All that fur makes a sea otter pup float like a cork. Sea otter pups can't swim when they're this young. So we tow her around, flip her over, and encourage her to dive, just like mom would do in the wild. We also give her a few toys to chew on. This helps build the jaw strength and coordination needed to eat solid food. When we care for pups, we put on a special outfit. The dark face shield and loose black poncho disguise our staff so the sea otter pup doesn't bond with humans. Stranded sea otters are wild animals, and we want them to stay wild. It's been nearly two months of intensive care since our stranded pup was first rescued. It's time for our resident otters to step in. A sea otter mom will spend almost a year with her pup, teaching all the skills needed to be a wild otter. The Monterey Bay Aquarium pioneered the first ever otter surrogacy program, pairing our resident otters with stranded pups to provide maternal care. After a little time getting to know each other, the pup surrogate mom is ready to get to work. Mom teaches her pup how to handle live prey, how to find food buried in the sand, and how to crack open shells. And when aquarium visitors head home for the day, we move the pup into the sea otter exhibit where she can practice deep diving and foraging in cracks and crevices for food. In the wild, sea otters play a big role in keeping the ocean healthy. They are gardeners of the kelp forest and other important coastal habitats. It's essential that our rescued pup learn all the skills she needs to succeed in her important role. After spending months with her surrogate mom, our stranded sea otter is ready for release back into the wild. For over 30 years, the Monterey Bay Aquarium has worked to rescue and rehabilitate stranded sea otter pups along the California coast. Our program is beginning to have some significant impacts. In Elkhorn Slough, a wetland in Monterey Bay, over half the otters are direct descendants of the Aquarium Sea Otter Program. They are transforming the slough into a healthy and thriving habitat. And maybe one day, 
The same success story will happen in other coastal habitats where otters have not been for hundreds of years. None of this work would be possible without your support. Please join us as we work to save California's sea otters.